hello lovelies we have four months until the exam starts so this is what i think you should be doing now to make the most of these four months now what i want you to start doing are some papers if you're in year 13 then i want you to do some APA, as papers if you're doing your gcse's if you're in year 11 i want you to do some paper one some year 10 content papers so like biology paper one chemistry paper one physics paper one and there are two reasons this is what i want you to spend this month doing first reason is that it is the easier content it's the stuff you started off the course with so whether it's if you're doing your a levels it's stuff you did in year 12 you're doing GCSEs, your stuff you did in year 10 or maybe even in year 9 so hopefully once you do this and you get it right you will get a little bit of a confidence boost and it will make you feel good and it'll make you feel happy about your revision the second reason is that every single year it comes up in the examiner's reports that the content at the start of the course, which is why I want you to do the papers on, isn't revised very well. So people don't know this content very well and they miss out on easy marks because of it. And in an exam, marks are marks. It doesn't matter whether they come from easy questions or whether they come from hard questions, like the stuff that you get taught right at the end of the course, which is a massive synopsis question marks are marks and the point is that i want you to get as many marks as possible so that your grades are as high as possible it doesn't matter where these marks come from but when i'm telling you to do these papers i do not want you to do them under exam conditions what i want you to do is have the papers out in front of you have your textbook your vision guide out in front of you have a youtube paper so you can watch all the videos and then just do as much revision as you can do as many of the questions as you can try and do as many as you can look up the answers if you're not sure research things if you're not sure and then have a really really good go at the answers so no pressure no stress you don't even have to add up the marks at the end the point about this bit is to increase your confidence to to make it a little bit easier to make it a little bit better to really try and boost you up before the exams so four months until the exam start february march april may we are starting on the 15th of may good luck guys i'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way